it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to print a canvas banner or you know a, a canvas print on your Roland BN20 or BN20A. So I'm using a BN20A, which just means it has four cartridges. There's no room for uh, white, but usually not a problem because I don't print on a whole lot of clear material. Although this is a white window cling that I have in here now, and I also can print on the clear window cling to get the stained glass effect. But in this case, we don't need white for our canvas. Um, so I'm gonna show you from start to finish how to do this. Now, this design that I'm going to print on canvas, we're gonna make kind of like a canvas uh, banner that someone could put on their front door. There's lots of different ways you could use canvas. You could, you know, rewrap it on a frame or, you know, hang it as a banner, different things like that. But I am actually using a vertical design that is meant for a painted stencil um, or vinyl sign. Uh, you know, those leaner signs that people put on their front door. We're gonna use this as an, an alternative way. We're going, going to print it. You actually don't even really need to cut it unless you want to, but in this case, we are not going to cut or anything. We are literally just going to print and then we will be done with it. So the great thing about this is the design that I got, I got it from So Fancy, um, it's commercial use, and it includes the PDF. So I literally did not need to go into any other software program. I just downloaded the design from Sofancy, uh, unzipped it, pulled out the PDF, and pulled it directly into VersaWorks. So I'm gonna show you how I set it up in there um, in a minute, but first I wanna show you, we're gonna just unload this and reload it so you can see that full process. So here is the banner material. I'll link to that so that you have that as well. Um, it does come obviously in the 20 inch, but you can only print 18.9 inches wide. So just be aware of that if you're, um, if that's a concern for you. We are only gonna print about 12 inches wide for this project, okay? All right, so I need to take this other uh, roll that I have in here. I need to pull that out of there. So I'm gonna pull the, um, bar back which allows me to kind of pull this vinyl back through as i said this is window cling um i have another video on that we obviously made it with qr codes and then i'm just going to lift this up now i like to keep everything in the same position as where it went in to make it easier for me to remember like which side goes which way all right so i'm just going to pull this side off this whole banner obviously and the core comes out oops And then we will take the banner material. You can keep it taped for now. You wanna make sure that the top um, part of the banner is going over, like that the flap is going over so that it will roll in. We'll take care of the tape that's on there um, once we get this um, on here, all right? Okay, so now this is gonna go straight back into my machine like this. I am gonna take the tape off of here. Okay, so we're gonna stick the roll back in there, and then we will, just like any other material, slowly feed it through. Once you see it go through there, see how it's gone through, then we will pull, push the um, lever bar back in, and it will reset itself, okay? And obviously you can't print when that front uh, panel is down, so make sure the door is closed. So then we're just gonna meet over in VersaWorks and I will show you exactly how simple and easy this was to get this set up. Okay, so I have my computer hooked up uh, by USB to my uh, Roland BN20A, so you can see it's all ready to print. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just going to pull the file in. So I'm gonna go to File, Add Job to Queue, and you can select whatever queue you want. I'm just gonna pull it into queue A. I actually already have the design in here, but I'm gonna redo it for you. So here is that PDF. Again, this has not been in any other software program because I didn't even need to add cut lines to it. All right, so I'm just gonna pull that into uh, VersaWorks. And I pulled it in a little bit early, so in case it took a second, but it doesn't look like it's gonna take too long. So we will then right click and we will click settings. Now. Um, when this opens up, it's going to show us the full size. So it depends um, if you want this to print as you know at the 100% scale, you can certainly keep it that way. Um, but once you're in here, I like to go to layout and then you can make your adjustments from there. Now, again, you have a couple of options on here. Obviously, this is a vertical design. You can see it's kind of shifted to the right. I'm gonna tell it that I wanna center it on the media and you can see that that's just gonna move it slightly to the right. That is going to allow me um, 
to fold in those sides if I decide that I kind of want to hem this banner. You, you can't, again, personal preference here. So you just, I'm just showing you options. Now, right here, it's showing me that this is going to be 12 inches wide by 48 inches long, basically four feet. If you want to size that up or down, you can scale. I'm going to scale it to about 90% so it's not quite so um, tall you know, high, long, whatever. And then I'm going to go into the rest of my settings here to make sure um, that there's nothing else I need to change. So I am just gonna keep this on generic vinyl. I'm gonna tell it that I want it printed as standard quality. That's gonna be an hour. So just keep that in mind. Now, um, we don't need to cut, um, but you can go down the rest of these settings here. I'm not adding crop marks. I'm not adding any kind of print control or you know any kind of other controls here. Um, now, my cutting, the operation mode, I am just gonna change this to print only. All right, that's just you know to tell it there's no need to cut, you don't need to cut anything. You also have the option, if you do want it to print and cut, you can tell it that you want it to cut the image boundary and that will cut directly along the image's boundary itself. So this is not around the design because this hasn't been vectorized. This is a PDF and so it's literally going to cut around the very edge. So if you want that, you can keep that on there. Otherwise, um, you know, I would just uncheck that completely and change it to uh, print only, which is what I'm going to do, okay? And then we're gonna click OK, and it's gonna be all ready um, to be sent to the rip and then to print. So we will right click and click rip. And you know it takes a couple of, uh, maybe a minute or so, depending on the size of the job. All right, we're gonna wait for the finish, this to finish ripping, and then I will put it into print, and we will send to print. All right, the rip is done. I like to right click and then click print. Of course, you can drag and drop to the print uh, status panel as well. But when I have a lot of jobs in my queue, I find it a little bit easier to just right click and click print so I'm not accidentally dragging something wrong or anyway, totally up to you. Again, this will take a couple minutes and then the printing will begin. Okay, so it's been about an hour. I went off and did something else here. And now the banner is finished printing. Okay, so you can't really see the whole thing, but believe me, it's all here. I'm gonna, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cut this off of the roll. I'm just using shears, sewing shears, because fabric shears, because this is the banner material. Now, if you wanna pull this out a little bit more, which I'm actually gonna do so that I don't get a raggedy edge there, is pull that lever bar back a little bit and that'll allow you to kinda of just scoot a little bit more out and then you can more, um, you can freely cut it. And th Cause we want it to be pretty straight. All right, so now you'll be able to see my full banner. So this banner is obviously not done yet all right, what we're gonna do next is I'm actually gonna just use some um, fabric tape and I'm gonna tape it down and then I'm gonna put a dowel through there. And what that's gonna do is then I will have, so this is 10 inches wide. The design itself is 10 inches wide. I'm gonna have a 12 inch dowel through there. And then I will hang some jute from that and we have made ourselves a front door banner. All right, so um, I will meet you over where I'm going to just kind of trim this down and fold the um, edges in. Um, as I said, I'm just gonna use fabric tape. There's no sewing or anything involved, so don't get worried about that. Um, and then we will be done.